Hey friends, this is Wendy with Love and Stampin'. I'm excited that you're here with me today. We are gonna make a Christmas card and we're gonna revisit something I did back in January. Now that prior one that I made was a birthday card. I was actually two birthday cards. And today we're gonna make it into a Christmas card. And I am gonna reference over on my blog the prior post so that you can get multiple ideas for this. But we're gonna get started. We're gonna use the Sending Cheer Stamp Set and Dies from Stampin' Up! And then I'm using the Brights Designer Series paper because I really wanted to just show you how you can make a Christmas card without Christmas paper, if that makes sense. And um, none of the Christmas paper that was in the annual catalog I really wanted to use for this project today. So this is kind of what struck my fancy. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna set these pieces aside. I just wanted to make sure I showed you what we were using. And then you're gonna need a whole bunch of card stocks. <laughs> so let me set this aside and tell you what you need. So you need a five and a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth piece of Poppy Parade card stock. You need a two and three eighths by four and three eighths piece of Poppy Parade card stock. I've got a four by five and a quarter piece of Granny Apple Green. I have a three and five eighths by four and seven eighths piece of the Brights Designer Series paper. I have a three and an eighth by four and three eighths basic white thick. And then I have some pieces here. We don't need both sets, but I wasn't sure which one I would want to use. So I cut out both, but you're going to use one or the other. And these are cut at two and a quarter by one and three quarters and two and a quarter by one and three eighths. So I'm just gonna set these aside because we don't need those till further down the road. And we're gonna just start with um, the base of everything. So, or the basics, I guess, is what we would wanna say. So we're gonna start with our Granny Apple Green, right? Oh gosh, now I don't know. Just kidding. We're gonna start with our uh, Poppy Parade piece of cardstock. This is the one that is cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. What we're gonna do is put the portrait side of the cardstock at the top of your trimmer. Can you see the top? Yeah, okay, that's better. And we're gonna cut at the, we're gonna, sorry. We are going to go into three quarters of an inch and we are going to cut from three quarters of an inch on our cardstock down to four and three eighths. And I'm using this little bar over here to know where to cut to, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that exact same thing on this side. So I'm lining it up at three quarters of an inch on this side. I'm gonna start at three quarters of an inch Cut down to four and three eighths. And then we're gonna turn it to the landscape side and we're gonna line it up at the three quarter inch mark from the three, and then we're gonna, basically we're gonna cut. So we're gonna line it up at three quarters of an inch down here at the bottom. And we're just gonna cut from this line to this line, which is from the three quarters of an inch mark to three and an eighth. Okay. So then you have a piece that looks like, whoops, there we go. That looks like this. So it's like a little door that could open. So now we're going to score at three quarters of an inch. So I've lined, I've put my landscape side at the top. I'm putting my three quarters of an inch line over here. And we're gonna score from three quarters of an inch to three and an eighth. So we have that score line and I'm just using my ruler over here on my bar to do that. And then we need to score, hold on, I'm reading my old instructions. Okay, and then we're gonna score it 
two and five eighths. And we're just doing it in between. So the cool thing about this trimmer is it does have the scoring tool and the cutting tool. So you don't have to have two separate tools. So that's handy. And then we're going to score. So we've scored it three and a quarters, two and five eighths. Lost track on my instructions and four and an eighth. Four and an eighth. So we're going to score right here. Okay. So now you have a piece that folds up and down and back up. So this is your little center piece that's going to slide to pop up. Okay. So if you need to watch that again, you can pause and you can rewind and watch it as many times as you need to. It's basically three and a quarters of an inch all the way around and then you're scoring at three and a quarter, two and five eighths, and four and an eighth, okay? So we're gonna set that piece aside, and we are gonna grab our um, designer series paper piece, and we are gonna cut, uh, yeah, I wanna make sure I do this right. Okay, so we're gonna line this up at the half inch mark. I hope I'm doing this right. I should have watched my old video, but you know why I'm re-recording this is because my old video was an hour long and I'm like, let me do this card again with a shorter version. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to cut from a half inch to four and three eighths. And we're going to turn and do the same thing on the other side. We're lining it up at the half inch mark and we're cutting from a half inch to four and three eighths. And then we just got to cut, we're lining it up at a half inch again, and we're cutting from a half inch to three and an eighth, or just line to line, you can see it there. And if it kind of hangs up like this, you can just pop it loose or you can use a pair of scissors to trim it out half inch and half inch to three and an eighth. So now in theory, if I've done this correctly, voila, isn't that cool? It fits right over the top. So I thought that this would be a fun technique or not technique. I can talk, I promise. I thought this would be a fun card to do for Christmas because these stripes kind of remind me of a candy cane. And then we've got the fun stamp set we're using that has like a gingerbread and it's just got a bunch of different fun stuff on it. So I thought we could decorate this and make it really cute for Christmas. Okay, so we're just gonna get this centered up as best as possible. I'm trying to be a little bit slow with it. Okay, there we go. And then you're just gonna glue that piece down and now that's the center. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to make our pull system and we have to make put our stuff on the inside. Okay, so what we're gonna do is this piece has to attach to the bottom of this piece and that's what's gonna pull it up. So what I'm going to do is use tear and tape because I just find that it's the easiest and it's really strong. We don't want our pull mechanism to pop off. So I'm just going to put adhesive across the bottom of here and it's like exactly a quarter of an inch. So if you're very careful, it's going to fit on there. Absolutely perfect. And then if it doesn't fit perfect, like right here, I can see I have a little hangover. I'm just going to push it back down onto itself and it will be just fine. And then we're going to take this piece and I'm going to like kind of push this part away and just line this piece up with the bottom of this other one and glue it down. 
and then this goes through here, and then this is your slide up, okay? Now, this piece needs to be decorated too, and you can make it like all kinds of different things. So we're gonna kind of wait on that, I think. Well, no, we're not. Let's, let's go ahead and do that now. So here's where I have to make some decisions before I go any further. This is gonna get glued to here, but not before this gets added. So what I need to decide is, do I want red hearts here? Or do I want green hearts here? Because whatever I do here is what I'm gonna do for my pull tab. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I wonder how many of you are yelling at the screen right now. Half of you are probably like green, the other half are like red. I really wanted to tie this green in the background into the front, um, but I could do that through like my decorations with like my holly. So I think that is what I'm gonna do because I'm not totally jamming this. So I think we're gonna go with red. We're gonna use red hearts. And this piece will go at the bottom, like so. And this piece will go at the top. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping in the background, but it rained here today and they are very happy. Okay, so then this piece is just gonna get glued down inside. So when you pull this up, you have this reveal piece. However, I wanna stamp on this. So how do we do that? Okay, I'm gonna show you. I don't even know if I did this in the last one, but I thought this through on this one. If you line this up and get it just centered, well, I don't wanna, I don't wanna glue it down yet, okay. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna take this, remember nobody's gonna see this. So this is just our own little guide. So I'm just putting little marks around each corner so that I know where this needs to go back. Now, the second piece of this is, I really wanna hold that in place. So let me use, we're gonna use a little piece of post-it note tape here, which will just come right off. You can get this on Amazon, by the way. I'll link to my Amazon store below. I love this post-it note tape. Okay, so then you're gonna layer this piece on top, but we're not gonna glue it down. I'm just gonna set it here. You can see we have our little green edge. Okay, now, once we get it all lined up how we want it, gotta make sure it's just right. Okay, then we're gonna pull this out of the way. I learned this the hard way on my first time making these. And then we're gonna make a couple marks on the white piece. Okay, so now when we pull this off, now I know that this area here is where I have to stamp. If I stamp too high or too low or out of this area right here, out of this little box basically, you're not gonna see it because this, you you can only pull this up so high. So now that we know that, we can make some decisions about what we wanna stamp inside. So I think it will be cute to have like this open me on this little pull tab up here at on the top. And then when they open it, it'll say like sending cheer on the inside. So we're gonna stamp the sending cheer right here in the center. So let's just take this off so we don't have any mishaps because now that we have everything marked out, we know exactly how to put everything back together. So I'm gonna grab my mini Misty and then get my sending cheer put down in here just like I want it. Let me pull my sleeves up kind of chilly here today, so not bad, honestly. All right, and then I also have my little mini Misty T-square ruler, and what I like to do with this is like I'm lining this 
T-square piece up against this edge right here. And then that's letting me know if my sentiment is straight. There we go. Ah, uh, that's still, hold on. I bumped it. Okay, so we're gonna put it here. I think that's good. Okay. Get that all tucked in there nice and neat. And now I'm gonna use some Poppy Parade ink. And I'm gonna stamp that just another one more time even though that's perfect. I just, I don't know. The double stamping's a thing. Okay, now I'm gonna remove this. You know what? I lied. I'm gonna do a little more stamping. I'm gonna add, remember, well, that's too big, I think. Yeah, we'll just wait. We're gonna add that somewhere else. Okay, so back to this part. So I'm gonna remove that, pick this up, Get this stuff out of the way. And then I need to come in and erase my pencil marks. Because I don't want my recipient to see those, of course. And then we can glue this in place. And I'm going to use those little marks from earlier so I know just where to put it and then this piece is going to get glued right on top however I do want to do a couple things so I don't let's see we have the open me so there is a little stamp that I just got from um, Pear Blossom Press and it has this little pull sentiment. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and use that for this just so that I can have my little instruction up there. So I'm just gonna put this into the Misty and trap everything down and I'm gonna stamp the word pull right here in the center at the top of this piece so that they know that's what they have to do to get it open. Okay, and I'm gonna use Hero Arts Intensified Black Ink stamp my little pull sentiment. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, so now I have my little thing. And you can decorate the top of this really cute, like with ribbon, or you can cut it at an angle, which we might still do. But I wanted to have my little instruction on there. Okay, and then we're going to glue this piece did I just run out of tape oh almost I think I'm almost out okay obviously you don't want to put glue across the top of here I would hope that's probably self-explanatory there all right so now I'm gonna line this up at the bottom and God willing this whole thing's gonna come together correctly. I got it a little crooked, that's all right. And then we pull, ah, sending cheer, so cute. So now we just have to decorate the front. So to break up some of this red, 
I thought we could do the gingerbread man, of course. Ooh, the rain's starting to come down outside. I don't know if you guys can hear it. So I'm gonna stamp a few things. So I'm just gonna slip a larger piece of white cardstock in, remove this little guy. Don't wanna lose him. And we're gonna stamp our gingerbread. And I think we're gonna stamp this guy at the same time. So let's see, we're gonna use pecan pie or pecan pie, depending on how you feel about it. Okay, let's get that nestled back in there. And then I'm gonna stamp my present and granny apple green. That'll bring some of that green back in. Perfect, so let's stamp it one more time. And we're gonna ink up that gingerbread one more time. Perfect. All right, now peel those guys off. So I've been asked once or twice, like, how do I clean my stamps from my Misty? You can use a chamois to like clean them off while they're still in there. I have this bad habit of just peeling them off while they're still dirty and cleaning them all afterwards. Probably not the best thing to do, but you know, what are you gonna do? That's life. Okay, so then we've got our little hearts that are gonna go in the middle here of this little gingerbread man. I think I have him lined up pretty good. This is a problem I have. When I'm using photopolymer stamps and I'm trying to like line them up, when I let go that sometimes it sticks to my fingers and it pulls and then it moves it. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, ooh, I think that's going to be a problem. Okay. We're going to wait <laughs> to cut that or to, uh, sorry, to stamp it. So let's use our poppy parade. Because, of course, he needs to have little red hearts. Perfect. One more time. For good measure. And then he has a little smiley face. Okay. And we're going to stamp that in black and then I think we're gonna have to re-stamp our present because when we die cut him out there's not gonna be enough room for our present however I'm just realizing I think I wonder if this die Oh, it does. Okay, so we, we're, okay, moving forward, here's what we're going to do. We are going to, I think this will work. So we're going to die cut this little present bow. Can you guys hear the rain? It's so lovely. And this is coming from the girl who doesn't like winter, but I'm trying to embrace some of these things, you know. Okay, so let's see if this is gonna cover this correctly. Oh, it does. Isn't that fantastic? Yay. So I'm just gonna fussy cut this out. So this is kind of cool. We learned something here. You can die cut this if you stamp this part of the bow in here, you can just die cut the whole present or 
you can die cut this layer and it'll fit right over the top of the little present. So that's pretty brilliant, love that. Okay, now let's die cut our gingerbread man. My goodness, it is coming down. Okay, and this is going to cut like a tag, but you don't have to use it like a tag. I'm all about using your products however they work best for you. But also, you could make a whole bunch of these really fast to have all the tags you want for Christmas. Okay, so we're just going to run that through. Oh my god. The rain is like going crazy. I was not expecting that. Okay, so there's that. So now all we have to do is take our scissors and just chop off the top of this little head there. And we're just gonna fussy cut this with a little white line so that it kind of matches our gingerbread. <laughs> you guys, I'm just giggling because I can't win. Like here I am out here doing a video and everything's quiet my whole family's in the house away from me and then mother nature decides to like open the gates and just pour which i'm not complaining about because we do need it in california we've also had a really quiet non-crazy um fire season and this rain is just kind of ensuring that that will continue So I'm not complaining. I promise I'm not. Okay, so it's been a while since I've used my, my glue press. Probably a little over a week because we've been on fall break. So this is all you do. If it does get a little gooky, which can happen, you just put the lid back on and put it away. I never have this clog ever if I use it regularly. Alrighty, so we have our little present and we have our little gingerbread. They're gonna go right here. I think I'm gonna put like, put them like that. And then um, we're gonna do a little sentiment on there too. So let's glue these guys on first. So I'm just gonna glue at the bottom because um, I don't, I, you don't want it to glue past this score line. So I'm just gluing at the bottom. And then on my ginger bread, I'm gonna glue a little on the front there. And then again, same thing, just at the bottom. So he's gonna go behind on that, in front over there. And that's it, now he's all glued in place. Okay, so then this is the card. And then we can just have like sending cheer. So here it says pull. And then the other thing is there's this cute sentiment that says open me. So we could have that here maybe. I don't think there's a die cut for this though. There's not. So I think I'm gonna leave it off just because I would want this to die cut out real small, like go here. And I, I just don't wanna do that. So, and I don't wanna fussy cut it. So I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like this is good and I'm happy with it. And that's our finished card. Isn't that cute? And I was thinking that maybe I had the other ones that I made from earlier this year, but I don't, I've used them to give away. So anyway, I hope you make one of these because they're really, really fun, especially for kids. And um, yeah, it's super adorable to make, right? Isn't that a cute little card? I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.